so now we talk about ssl ssl is nothing it's the extra protection for your website so here you can read like ssl stands for secure socket layer so ssl is the abbreviation of secure socket layer it is an application layer protocol that deals with your secure information over the internet right so that means it provides you extra security for the website right so how can you check whether the particular website is protected or not so normally if we'll check i mean the protocol like uh, this one http if extra s is coming that means that's the secure one right and log symbol you'll be getting so you can see this is our institution website right uh, so here symbol is coming log symbol is coming right so this means this website is totally protected right and people they trust more on this website so your data is totally safe over here and the web data is totally safe right and uh, i'll show you one other website so this is a website right so there is no protection for this website so here you can see what it, the message it is showing it's a not secure right so uh, at the initial level uh, you can go without protection but when you will start getting any traffic or if you want uh, to provide extra uh, i mean uh, a website totally secure so you can take ssl certificate so for that one simply you can go in google and you can search for the ssl certificate normally when you will purchase your domain website domain so there uh, uh, the additional thing normally it come in which their ssl certificate is also right so that you have to select so if you have missed that ssl certificate to uh, into uh, to integrate over with your domain so simply you can come and you can check what are the platforms over here you can go and you can prefer this one right so suppose uh, i'm going with the godaddy so here you can see the plan as well right so later on you can add this so these are the paid one right so here you can purchase uh, according to your need uh, for one year two year three year and simply you have to click on add to cart and you have to create your account if you have already account by default it will be taken the same thing you have to do right and there you have to integrate with with your domain so that's all